Scottsbluff County is closer to having a new set of regulations guiding the development of solar energy facilities following a public hearing Monday. The new 17-page document is much more detailed and robust than the current regulations in place when a California-based company sought a conditional use permit for a utility-scale project southwest of Scottsbluff and Gehring a year ago. Attorney Phil Kelly said, for one thing, the language would require a company wanting to build such a facility to hold a public forum before their application with notice to the public and nearby landowners. Everybody within has adjoining land within two miles is going to get a letter. So they get an opportunity to find out about the project before the application is filed so that there's information and transparency about what, what the plan would be. They must then provide that information to the county when they make their application. What are the results or what information was, was made available at the public forum and what were the concerns addressed at the public forum? Reginald Preston told the board, while there were some additional tweaks needed to the document, overall, it would place the county in a better position to allow a level playing field than the case was a year ago. We've been through the public meetings, we've been through the public hearings, both with this board, the planning and zoning board, uh, and now we've even got legal counsel on behalf of the county that we were completely lacking when all of this started last winter or so. Um, We'll get through the rest of it. I'm sure there'll be some more comments, but it feels like we've got a fairly concise set of rules that uh, everyone's getting a chance to weigh in on that hopefully will allow for a level playing field for U5, all of the five who shall follow behind you uh, to have a chance to regulate this. The proposed regulations will come up for a vote at a future board meeting.